WebView now supports Vectorworks ClipCube, file optimization, and additional rendering options that produce lighter weight models and better performance, resulting in higher quality web and virtual reality experiences for your clients. Using this command is extremely simple. First, make sure your view location is where you wish the recipient to start, then use File, Export, Export Web View. Select whether you want to export the entire model respecting current visibilities or just the selected objects. You can choose how much or how little you want to share. You can set a logo image if you like, which will be placed at the top left of the web view. This can be useful for identifying your own brand when presenting to clients. Any transparent backgrounds present in this image will be respected. Then set the quality level. Low will result in a lower quality but more responsive file. Very high will increase the quality at the cost of the speed of navigation. Choose what works best for you and your model. You can choose whether to export with full color or if you only want a white model. Useful if you have yet to finish texturing your file but still want to present it to another party. You'll see options for ambient occlusion and draw edges as well, which can be enabled and tuned to your liking. These settings work nearly identically to those found in OpenGL options and lighting options in Vectorworks natively. You can then choose whether you want to upload to our servers directly with temporary cloud storage, giving you a public link that anyone can view. If you choose local storage, then the export result will be an HTML package that you can host on your own servers with your own preferred levels of security. There are also a number of supported third-party cloud storage solutions as well, supported via cloud services. For exterior views, the most useful mode at the bottom right will be Orbit Control, which works similarly to the Flyover tool in Vectorworks natively. Left-click and drag will change the flyover view. Middle-click or scroll wheel will zoom in, and right-click and hold will pan. Clicking this icon again will switch to walkthrough mode, useful for interior views or when you want to walk around in your model like you might in real life. When in walkthrough mode, indicated by the small footprint icon, use the W, A, S, and D keys to move forward, backward, left, and right, and left-click and drag to turn your head. Left click, right click, and middle mouse button held down will all work the same way in this view, but single left clicking or tapping on a location in the model will move your camera to that location automatically, which is intended to make mobile navigation easier. At the top right, you'll see a house icon, which will return you to your starting view. Below that is the settings menu, which pops out to let you control whether the viewer can walk through walls and how fast the viewer is moving and turning in place. Model statistics will tell you how many faces are present within the web view. Geometry indicates how many separate solid objects there are, and number of textures reports the number of textures.